James Hurst Elementary School in Craddock was designed to use solar energy, not completely, but alongside conventional heating and cooling systems. While the federal share of money didn't come through in time for the school's opening in 1978, the $225,000 project is now in place and was today formally accepted. Congressman Robert Daniel, a member of the House Armed Services Committee, emphasized the role such energy-efficient systems play in national security, allowing the U.S. to cut down dependence on foreign oil. He said he expects James Hurst Elementary, one of 83 projects nationwide, to set an example. We hope that this school will serve as a working laboratory, allowing the government and the private sector to evaluate solar power with proven, practical, and functioning projects we expect that others will adopt and use solar energy. The 3,300 square foot solar system will save an estimated 70 percent of the school's energy costs. Water is heated by the sun in collecting panels and stored for use. A monitoring system keeps tabs on temperatures and volumes. School superintendent Dr. M. E. Alfred said Portsmouth will recoup its $88,000 share of the investment in six years. But if the price of oil doubles between now and then, the city's money could be made back in half that time. Howard Jaffe, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Portsmouth.